This film begins by showing the story of a group of ducks who live happily in their lake, but it appears that two ducklings are bored with that life. One of them invites them to live freely, but as they are flying, a stork comes and attacks them and kills them. It turns out it was a story told by a duck named Mac to his two children, Dax and Gwen. It is seen that Gwen is scared by the story, while Dax doesn't really care. Then, their mother, named Pam, tries to change the story to make it fun, but Gwen still feels scared. Mac says it aimed to make his children want to stay at their lake to avoid danger. The next day, it is seen that their life as a simple family is very pleasant, but suddenly, a flock of immigration ducks stops by their lake. Pam invites Mac to greet them, but it turns out that Dax and Gwen have already approached the group of immigration ducks, and they also meet a female duck named Kim. Kim invites Dax to immigrate together to Jamaica Island as a paradise for birds. Then Mac arrives, and Gwen tells him Dax is talking with a girl. Kim's parents come to invite Mac's family to immigrate together, but Mac refuses and prefers to live in their small lake, which makes Dax disappointed that he didn't immigrate with Kim. It is seen that Pam is also annoyed with Mac's character because the three of them really want to immigrate to live a free life that they have never experienced before. Mac now realizes his family's wishes, and then at night, Mac meets his uncle named Dan. Uncle Dan hears their dispute and encourages Mac to stay at the lake and be alone until old age. Hearing that, Mac becomes doubtful, and then he wakes his family to prepare for migration. Uncle Dan comes to their house, and Gwen tries to persuade Uncle Dan with her funny behavior until Uncle Dan finally agrees to go with them. In the morning, they get ready to fly, and it is their first enjoyable flight together. But they see another flock of ducks flying in the opposite direction, and it turns out that Mac's family is heading into bad weather and has to take shelter when it rains. Suddenly, a stork named Aaron finds them. Seeing that Mac's family is cold, Aaron takes them to his nest, which turns out to be a small hut. There is also Aaron's partner who looks old. Mac and his family are very afraid of being eaten by them, but Aaron is seen bringing them a bed in the form of a pan. At night, when Aaron falls asleep, Mac asks his family to leave, but it turns out that Aaron has already blocked them. When Aaron starts to attack, Mac and Pam try to restrain her while Dax and Gwen try to escape. Mac and Pam are caught, and then suddenly, a big fish comes and eats Dax and Gwen. Aaron manages to save Dax and Gwen from a big fish attack. Mac and Pam realize that Aaron is good, and they sleep together. The next day, they say goodbye to Aaron to continue their migration. While flying, Dax tells them to go higher until they see lots of beautiful clouds, and they have fun. After that, Mac's family sees a shining red light, and it turns out that they have entered an urban area with many tall buildings, which surprises them. Mac's family finally survives, but Uncle Dan is trapped in the tower and finally falls into the city park. Mac who sees Uncle Dan, immediately follows him. Uncle Dan sees the food there, and then a group of pigeons comes and snatches it. Mac and the others try to save Uncle Dan until Mac accidentally mocks a pigeon, which startles them. Then, the pigeon's leader, named Chump, comes to scold Mac. Pam tries to persuade her to give her half their food, and they agree, which makes Uncle Dan immediately share his food. Hearing that Mac's family wants to go to Jamaica, Chump tells them that she has a friend there, but Mac's family is so afraid of flying on the highway, which makes Chump repeatedly hit by vehicles. They fly higher than the vehicle and are amazed to see the city's beauty. Gwen even tries to grab the balloon that is flying towards her. They go to Chump's friend, named Delroy, but Chump tells them that Delroy's owner is a chef. They find Delroy who is in a cage, then Delroy tells them the way to Jamaica, where he used to live, which makes him sad. Mac's family plans to free Delroy to go to Jamaica with them, but his owner who works in a restaurant, takes the cage's key. Mac tries to take it and tells his family to stay there. Delroy's owner is seen as a chef who is going to cook for his customers, and Mac tries to take the key from the chef's jacket. It turns out that Pam also comes to get the key, and Mac is surprised to see the chef cutting the roast meat, causing him to mess up the kitchen there. 
Mac and Pam make it out of the kitchen, but instead, everyone is about to dance. Mac and Pam are almost trampled and plan to dance together to escape. They manage to come back to open Delroy's cage, but Mac accidentally swallows the key. Chump tries to restrain the chef while the others try to get the key out of Mac's mouth. The chef manages to enter the room, and Mac's family hides from him. Suddenly, the balloon sounds, and Mac tries to hold it until his body grows bigger. Mac is bounced out by the gas, which makes the key finally come out of his mouth. Delroy is free, and he thanks Mac, then Delroy plans to take them to Jamaica. They continue their journey to Jamaica. It is seen that Gwen wants to poop, but Pam tells her to poop while flying. Gwen still cannot do it which makes them decide to stop. After that, Gwen finds an underground place, and it turns out that it leads to a goose farm. All the geese are very happy including their leader, named Gugu. This place is like heaven for ducks and geese because it has lots of food and games that geese like. Mac's family plans to play around there before continuing their journey. And then a truck brought by the chef arrives. Dax who sees that is shocked and tries to tell Gugu. Mac also notices and tries to stop them, but Dax immediately tells all the geese to leave before they are cooked. Dax tries to escape from the chef, which damages his wings, and then Mac tries to fight the chef until all the geese run away. Mac tells his family to get out of there and manage to survive. In the afternoon, they stop somewhere, and it is seen that all the geese are too tired to fly. Mac also scolds Dax for not following his orders. At night, the chef is seen looking for all the escaped ducks using a helicopter. Meanwhile, Dax is still annoyed at being scolded, and then Gwen comes to hug him to calm his emotions. Mac wakes up, and the chef comes who manages to catch all the ducks there. Dax and Gwen hide from the chef, but Mac and the others are taken by helicopter. The chef who sees that Mac has been captured, immediately takes him. Dax also tries to fly, but cannot because his wings are broken. Then, seeing several bird wings that have fallen, Dax has an idea. Pam feels hopeless because her idea to invite her family to migrate has endangered them. Mac tries to encourage her, and together, they try to free all the ducks, but the chef manages to catch them. Pam bites the chef's nose, and all the ducks throw fruit at the chef, causing him to faint and open the helicopter door. Mac and Pam fall, and then Dax and Gwen come to save them. Delroy and the others manage to damage the helicopter door and escape to Jamaica with all the ducks. They fly so far that Delroy accidentally gives them the wrong way, but they realize that Jamaica is close, and they are surprised to see Jamaica Island right in front of them. Dax leads them all to fly to Jamaica Island and the many types of birds that live there. Delroy also reunites with his brother. Mac and Pam are happy to have made a successful migration, which makes them reunite with Kim's family, and Kim is also glad to have seen Dax again. In the afternoon, Mac dances with Pam, and all the birds dance as a reward for their success. The film ends with Mac's family wanting to return home several days later, but Mac tells them they will immigrate to the South Pole with the penguins, and everyone agrees to go there. Then the film is finished. Is it interesting enough about the storyline of this film? From this film, we know that we should never be afraid of something we have never been through because every effort we make will have very satisfying results for ourselves.